Yeah, good evening. From space heaters to leaving gas ovens on and even booking hotels to get away from it all, residents say they're desperate for warmth and answers from apartment complex management. It's not all about me. It's about the entire building. It's about everyone. It's about anyone who's dealing with a situation like this at this time of year. We shouldn't have to. For days, this apartment building at the corner of South Indiana and East 70th has been without hot water and heat. Residents say it was radio silence until Christmas when management sent a text blaming the problem on someone leaving the door open to the laundry room, causing pipes to freeze. Oh my gosh, what I came across was horrible. Water literally this high above the washing machine and dryer with water frozen on top of the dryer. Carla Wells says by the time the text to residents went out, temperatures had already dipped to levels too cold to tolerate. On Christmas Day, we had to pack up our Christmas tree and everything and go to my daughter's house because it was unbearably cold. That was after Wells says she spent money for her family to stay in a hotel. Now they're back home and taking any steps they can to stay warm. There's no reason why we should have to go. We've literally been sleeping under four blankets. She says she's been sleeping with a knit hat on and at least four layers of shirts, including a winter coat. And two pairs of pants, socks, and this is how I've been having to sleep under four blankets. Not only does the building have no hot water or heat, but Wells also doesn't have gas. The EPA says you should never use a gas oven to heat your home, but others like Gloria Bates got too cold and took measures into their own hands. I had to use my stove and this, and they've been going around the clock. So I have a, a huge bill coming my way. Who's going to pay that? Bates says she's worried about the safety risks, but also her own health if it gets too cold. She says her carbon monoxide detector has already gone off once already. I don't want to dress like I'm getting ready to go outside. While Bates has her own space heater, the building promised to deliver heaters to residents Tuesday morning, something they hadn't followed through on by the afternoon. They're not answering the phone, so we're being just ignored. Wells says it was only after she reached out to a maintenance worker directly that she was able to get her hands on three. Tenants in the building tell WGN they just want answers and to know help is on the way. We have an emergency situation here and it's cold. You might not live in the cold, but we are and we need heat. Now we have reached out to WPD management who oversees the property. We reached out by phone and email. We have not heard back as of tonight. We've also reached out to the sixth board alderman to ask if there's anything that these tenants can do to get help and away from the cold. Reporting by the lakefront, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News.